With 2022 behind us, the European Space Agency, ESA, readies itself with enthusiasm for the challenges and opportunities of 2023. Another year in which it will strive to support and realise Europe's bold ambitions in space. These ambitions and programmes do not only benefit the citizens of Europe, but also the global community. A prime example of this are the six Meteosat third-generation satellites, which ESA has developed with UMETSAT. The first of this new generation weather satellites was launched at the end of 2022 and will soon deliver its first images. The MTG I-1 and its still to be launched siblings will allow for an earlier detection of storms and extreme weather events, serve to improve aviation safety and contribute to our understanding of Earth's changing climate. Monitoring our planet from space is also a task for the Copernicus Sentinel-1C satellite. This third Sentinel-1 satellite will be lifted into orbit on top of a Vega C. It will replace the Sentinel-1B and will provide day and night radar imagery of the Earth's surface, strengthening the European Union's Copernicus programme, which is the most expansive Earth observation programme in the world. To understand the universe and our place in it, ESA will launch two new astronomy missions in 2023. The innovative Euclid spacecraft is scheduled for launch in the summer of 2023 and has been designed to help us understand dark matter and dark energy, two fundamental yet elusive forces governing the universe, but how we still do not fully understand. Earlier in the spring, ESA's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE, will be launched. The spacecraft will make detailed observations of the gas giant and its three large ocean-bearing moons, Ganymede, Callisto and Europa. By studying the wider Jupiter system in depth, it could help to better understand the population of gas giants across the universe. JUICE will be launched on top of an Ariane 5 rocket, Europe's soon to be retired, but until then, uncontested workhorse launcher. After its retirement, Ariane 5 is to be followed by the newly developed Ariane 6, which will make its maiden voyage later this year and for which preparations at Europe's spaceport are ongoing. Ariane 6 combines Ariane 5's reliability with a more flexible launcher configuration and more efficient assembly process. It also shares its P120C solid rocket motors with the Vega C. ESA's cost-efficient, lightweight launcher. With this varied and competitive launcher portfolio, Europe consolidates its position in the global launcher market and ensures independent access to space. 2023 will also be an important year for the new class of ESA career astronauts. In the spring, they will start their basic training, preparing them for future missions to low Earth orbit, the Moon, or even beyond. Another ESA astronaut who is training is Danish ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen. In 2015, Andreas became the first Dane in space and later this year, he will fly to the ISS for his first long-duration mission on board the station. His arrival will re-establish European presence on the International Space Station since the departure of Samantha Cristoforetti. Andreas is also expected to be the first European to pilot a SpaceX Dragon capsule. Meanwhile, the development and testing of ESA missions will continue throughout the year, with ESA working in collaboration with institutional partners and European industry. These range from drop tests for ESA's return vehicle Space Rider to the continued development on HERA, the first probe to rendezvous with a binary asteroid system and Europe's flagship planetary defender. For human spaceflight, ESA continues to collaborate with NASA on the Artemis program, producing the crucial European service module, which supplies the Orion capsule with oxygen, water, nitrogen and power during its trip to the Moon. After a successful maiden flight for Orion and ESM-1 on the Artemis-1, ESM-2 is prepared for the next flight and ESM-3 will soon ship to the States. Another mission worth mentioning and another symbol of international cooperation is the ESA-JAXA Earthcare, 
Cloud, Aerosol and Radiation Explorer mission. This new satellite is the most complex Earth Explorer to date and will advance our understanding of the role that clouds and aerosols play in reflecting incident solar radiation back into space and trapping infrared radiation emitted from Earth's surface. It is scheduled for launch in 2024. All these missions bring together the brightest minds and the greatest skills across Europe and far beyond. To do this, ESA can rely on support of its member states. By the end of the year, another space summit will be held where, under the leadership of Director General Josef Ashbacher, ESA will continue to push towards high ambitions for space in Europe, just as it did in 2022, where the Ministerial Council in Paris rallied behind the European Space Agency with an increased budget. The plans and missions laid out by ESA at this summit 2023 might echo for years and bring a bright future for space in Europe.